Hi everybody, Angie here. Coming on to do a little make with you guys and make a little um, update announcement on my 500 subscriber giveaway that I did earlier in the week. I'm sorry I'm getting, took me so long to get back to follow up on that first video with the winners, but um, you know how life happens, things come up and I just really just have not had time to get on and do a video for you guys. Um, so with that being said, I chose three winners for my 500 subscriber giveaway to give away my little TN style um, junk journals. These right here. And I need to choose another winner because I have not been contacted. And I did say 24 hours on that first video. But like I said, um, things happen just like it did with me. I'm sure things come up with others as well. And um, I thought, well since it happened it happened and maybe it would give them more time to get in touch with me but i have gotten no response so i have to choose another winner so with that being said i went ahead and did it off camera and here and i just put i'm just putting this on here so you guys have something to look at as i'm talking i'm going to go ahead and push it aside right now this is my second poll winner karen petros petros um, congratulations, Karen. You are my second drawing winning. Thank you so very much for liking and commenting and subscribing to my channel in that particular video. I appreciate it so very much. And I am pleased to um, share um, one of my creations with you. So if you would, please get in touch with me, leave me a comment, um, send me an email, um, and um, I will get your, we will exchange information and I will get that package off to you um, as soon as I can. Okay, possibly today. Um, this is post is going up on Friday. So maybe by the end of Friday, if not Friday, by Monday at the latest, if I can get a response from you. Okay, Karen. So congratulations. Thank you so very much to Karen and thank to each and every one of you to help me achieve my, my craft goals here on YouTube. Um, like I said, onward and upward, please like, comment, share. Um, I would like to continue growing and continue to bring fun, interest, inspirational um, videos to you guys um, and just keep the fun going, okay? So with that being said, I knew this would not take very long to make that announcement um, and I am pleased to get this off to Karen once she contacts me and we um, have a conversation. And this is what I had been working on prior to um, my uh, channel goal announcement. I was making some of these cute little um, single signature um, journals, I guess you kind of would say. It's like a little journal. But what inspired me from this is, if, can you see the shape of this um, top portion of this journal? This is actually a recycled envelope. Um, maybe you guys, I'm sure you're, you guys are familiar with the envelopes that when you go and get your pinch, uh, pictures developed at Walmart, at your local camera location, um, wherever you get your pictures developed, they always stuff all your pictures in a really large envelope. And I was looking at that and I was like, oh my gosh, I love the shape and the size mostly of that envelope. I said, I can make a little mini journal out of that. And that's what I did. I just lined it, put some little ephemera bits, some uh, doily, I fussy cut a clock here. I kind of gave it a little bit of a theme here. Um, did a little swivel for a closure. If I can get it to close, okay. Just did a little swivel closure there. And then when you open it up, I did just a very minimal, just a little fussy cut embellishment there. Did a little mini belly band there where you could tuck in a couple little goodies, a tag, couple tags, whatever you want. I thought that was just really adorable. Um, put a small signature just with blank paper and I used a stencil with some Distress Ink and I just went around and did the edges and I did the bottom on the front pieces. And then when we get to the second portion of the signature, I did the top, just kind of just to take your eye to a different element, something different to look at. Okay, so all of those back pages are done with a little stencil on the top corner. Okay, 
Now you could use uh, digital paper. You can it'll be more elaborate with the decorating if you want, but I just thought it was just really cute, really simple. And then when you get to the back, this is where all my pictures were stuffed in. And once you line it, it gets really sturdy. Um, I have not put in anything in that pocket yet, but you can put just, it's a large, as you can see, deep pocket, so you can put pretty much anything you want. I just did a light decoration. I fussy cut an image of a woman from a old vintage um, sewing pattern. I love that, like she's leaning up against maybe like the wall or something, so I just laid her right up against the edge there, put a little bit of lace trim, because she looks all decadent and fancy. And since I was kind of going with a book theme kind of thing, um, I put her little book, fussy cut a book, and put that in there. And then I just lightly went around the edges with a gold um, Sharpie. And kind of, I don't know if that's picking, the camera's picking that up, that shimmer of the gold there. And I did it also here on this front part, a little bit of gold. And then the quill pen, like maybe she's writing with gold ink there. I did gold on that as well. Just a single pamphlet stitch and that's it so that is really cute now it's a really simple project so hopefully maybe we could get this done in one video but um we'll see what we can do okay so let's just get that started now as far as this envelope i don't have this particular shape envelope but it's easily enough to reconstruct we can just shape the top portion the top page of the journal that shape okay so I found an envelope that's almost the same size, a little bit bigger, but we're going to go with that. And it's got a small flap. As you can see, it's a Hallmark envelope. And these were gifted to me by a dear friend of mine, Sean. Thank you, Sean. And um, we're going to go ahead and go with this size. And when it comes to this, we're just going to alter that flap and kind of give it like this type of shape. Okay, so let's get started. Now I have some same papers from this project. I have some papers left over, as well as I brought in a couple pages of book page, and then I have some blank paper for our signature. So let's see if we can get this done in one video, okay? Now, I'm gonna have to bring my cutter up because as you can see on these, it has the white border around those and I need to trim that off. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that on just a couple pieces real quick. <coughs> that the size won't be too far off for us to have to um, trim. We'll see. I didn't uh, measure. two pages of this digital but I think two pages would be enough because I thought um, what we would do on this one just to make it a little bit different so I have four pages but I don't think we'll need all those is we'll combine it with some book page I love working with book page so just to give it a little bit of a different look okay and I had gotten this one because I, this is a vintage book from a Reader's Digest and I love the age and the color of the pages and I thought that went really well with that but when I held it up to the envelope, it's too small. Okay, so I went to another book that was the same size. And that's a little bit more appropriately will fit. Okay, wherever, wherever we use it, whether we use it on the top, the middle, or the back. Um, we could pretty much use it in one piece if that's what I choose to do. Okay, but once we get to playing, we'll see how that develops. Now, what I was thinking is this should pretty much just fit if I didn't cut it too wonky right inside. The only thing we're gonna have a problem is is shaping 
this portion here. And I'm going to attempt to try I'm thinking, I'm wondering if we could just do it in one pass, like this, and if I hold that down, and give that a fold there. And we could just do a quick, easy, wrap around that's what i'm hoping but we're a little shy on this end okay so we're gonna need a pencil and i'm going to just mark and i'm going to attempt to shape this Come down to a V. And then this has a little bit of a edge there, so I'm just gonna feel. And I'm just gonna hope for the best and we're just gonna trim where we need to trim, okay? So right about there, that's where I need to cut it. Fussy cut that, okay? Let's do that real quick. I'm going to be moving kind of quickly because I would like to try and get this process done in one video because it's not a it's not a difficult project by any means. Um, but you know, sometimes when you get to going and get to chatting and you know, it takes twice as long as what it normally would. And I'm hopefully you guys don't mind if we have to put this into two videos just to see a completed project. I'm hoping you don't mind. Um, but the sooner we get done with one project, the quicker we can move on to another. Okay, I'm hoping that I measured that somewhat well. Let's check it out. And if it's not exact, that's okay too. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Almost. Nothing's perfect, guys, but almost perfect. Love it. Okay, we're going to go with that. And erase my pencil marks. And these little pieces right here, we will just use that and touch that those corners up. Okay, so let's check our edges and they look pretty darn good to me. So let's um, get this glue stick and get it down. ink up edges anywhere that we need to. And I think this is gonna be a really cute piece. Okay. Now, if you don't have, if you don't want, if you choose to um, use pieces and collage, I just thought it would be a little bit quicker if I could get it all down in one, one piece. But you don't have to use one piece of digital. You can collage it and use multiple pieces, however you want. Okay, just make it your own. Such a cute, fun project. Who doesn't like working with envelopes, right? Oh, that moved a little on me, didn't it? How'd that happen? You see that, guys? That's okay, we're gonna throw some ink on there. We're gonna, we'll fix that up somehow. I don't know how that shifted on me. It's straight on this side. Huh, maybe I just didn't notice it. 
like I said, it wasn't perfect. It was almost perfect, right? Okay, so now we're going to get this edge. Well, since it's already started, we're going to match that edge of the paper with this edge. Okay, and we're just going to figure out about there. Okay, and we're just going to put it down. Okay, and then we'll trim off the excess on this side. Same with this side. We don't really need to measure it. We're just going to put it down. Just a corner. There we go. Oops. Okay, and on this one, I'm going to have to pull this back and trim it there as well. Easy peasy. Okay, so that's the inside and the back. Now we need to do our front flap. And like I said, to be able to put a signature in there, that flap is too small. So we're gonna try our best to kind of shape it like that. So to do that, I thought we would take our second piece of paper. And that's almost perfect, guys. It won't get any better, it really won't. We're gonna line this up. We're just gonna fold it in half. And this is just goes to show how easy this project is if you want to, um, you know, enlarge your flap, okay? So we're just gonna put this down right here and we're gonna glue it down and look, there's about almost a half an inch difference there, just like this one. It's not quite, we could come in a little bit more if we wanted to, which we probably should because we need to make room for our swing our swing closure. So what I'm going to do is use my grid and I'm just going to take off about a quarter of an inch. I think that will do it. And here's my dog coming in to distract me, nudging my arm. Okay. I think that should be enough, let's see. Much better, see that? All right, we're gonna go with that, guys. Now to put that down, all we need to do is butt that right up to the edge, line up all our edges, top, bottom, and left. And that looks good to me. And we're gonna start gluing. And we're going to get the middle flat portion first. And I'm going to try to get this down without my paper moving. And down we go. Just like that. Okay. And then I can open it up. And continue the glue. Because glue, we all know how glue stick works. Can you make your paper curl a little bit? That's not a problem. Miss the corner there. 
move it on that corner. All right, now we want to shape our portion there just to give it a little bit of a, I guess you could call it a design, if you will. And again, I'm going to use my grid lines and I'm going to try to get it straight. Pardon my head if my top of my head is showing. Okay, and we're going to come in, not much. I'm going to use my pencil. Well, I guess I don't really need it. I do it all in one slot. And I'm going to come to the from the top center portion down. And I'm going to come in a little over a half inch. I think that'll do it. Okay, just like that. Okay, now we can do it two ways. We can just eyeball it and cut the other side. Or we can do this, reverse this right here, and line it up. And I'm going to do that, but I'm right-handed, so i got to turn it around. Okay. And just line up my edges. And I'm getting a ruler there. Just like that. Should be pretty darn good. Look at that. Okay, fantastic. So now we've got our journal. Okay, so all we got to do now is we want our pages to fit with inside of the flap. Okay, so we don't want to sew our signature in just like that because as you can see it will stick out. Okay, and I just grabbed a few pieces of blank paper out of my printer. And uh, let's see what I've got here. One, they're just three pieces. Okay, nothing too great. So now we're just going to, like we were, any other signature, make sure that's nice and snug right in the spine area. And we're going to trim our pages down. Okay, oops. And for this, all I'm going to do is do a trace right around that top flap we just made. And I will cut inside the pencil lines so then I know the paper will not show once we get it sewn in, okay? And I'm just gonna shave off just a hair, cut on the inside of that pencil line like that. Now as I'm doing this, I realized in the haste of me trying to keep this moving along for you guys, um, we should have, I should have, put my closure clasp in before I put that paper down so it can hide behind the underneath the paper and I did not do that so we have to make adjustments for that okay and once we get that sewn in there is our signature isn't that nice look at that okay but I did want to put my closure right here but I need something for that to hold on to so um, I'm just trying to think and while I'm thinking, I'm going to grab my, my thread. And for a quick, easy signature like this, we don't need to do any measuring. We're just going to do a real quick, easy sew in. Grab my needle. see it all this light I still can't see there we go <laughs> all right so now we want to make sure it's nice 
and butt it up on the spine before we get to sewing. If you need to use some clips, go ahead and grab you some clips to hold your paper in place. Never hurts, so I will use one since I've got it handy here. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna come in oh, about an inch and a half. Put a hole, come in about an inch and a half on the other side. And same thing. Since there's not very many pieces of paper, I'm just gonna do a quick two hole stitch. You can stitch it on the inside or the outside, whichever you prefer. Like I said, we're just moving this along quickly. We're keeping it really simple and fun and easy. Okay, I sewed that one on the outside, so we'll go ahead and just do this one on the inside. No big deal. No worries, no stress. Now, if we were having more pages, I definitely would do a minimum of three whole stitch. Um, but there's only three pieces of paper in here. So we don't need to worry too much about that. Okay, we're still gonna get it tight as we can. Double knot it a couple times and cut off the excess. Okay, and there we go. Look at that, guys. How cute. And now all we have to do is decorate it. Now, I need to think about how I can get my clasp on there, don't I? And I have some crochet trim here. thinking maybe about using that around the edge of the, our opening for our pocket, but we need some here. So maybe we'll just put it right there. How about that? I think that would be good. Let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna use some art glitter glue for this one. Now I need to put it in place. I'm just gonna start Gluing it down at the top. Get a straight edge there. So I'm gonna get that down. So I wanna kind of just roughly find my middle. And that was gonna be right about, let's see. Right about here. Okay, doesn't have to be exact. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and glue that down to the middle mark. Oh, I like that. That little crocheted touch there. Okay, now we're gonna poke this through our trim. And I want it to sit right about, right about there, okay? So then let's pull our prongs back. Okay, now we're ready to glue it all the way down. So you could do it this way if you have plan on using like some lace or some additional paper, but if you're just using one um, layer of paper, you definitely want to put your closure on before you seal it up. But don't think that there's not a way to get around things. There's always a way to get around things, guys. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. I like it. I'm just going to clean that edge up just a bit. And there we go. Now all we got to do is just do the rest of the decorating, however you see fit, guys. Um, I did grab, and for the inside lining, that's where my book page came in, and I thought I would just eyeball that as well. Just keep it fun, keep it simple, because it's just about the right size, okay? So from there, I'm just centering it, and again, I'm just going to do like so, and I'm going to cut it on the inside of those lines. And we're going to line the inside of our pocket area. There's kind of a glare on that. I'm going to do that freehand because it's kind of giving me a glare. I hope you guys aren't don't have a glare on the screen. But this is just for the inside lining of the pocket portion. And hopefully that will just slide right in. And you don't have to go all the way down. We can cut, tear that off. It's a little, little big. So let's just trim a, another sliver off of there. snug okay so from there what I'm gonna do is I think I want to do a rough tear for the top so I'm just gonna line up the edge on the writing the wording I'm going to rough tear there and then I'm gonna cut off another small sliver Off of one of the sides. Hopefully that'll do it. Let's see. And in we go. Okay, so now that's going to be kind of difficult to glue that all the way down in, but we definitely want to keep it to about there. So as far as the P, that word whisper, wherever that was, when. Windsor. Okay, so let's go to about here. That's all we need. You know what? I'm going to go just a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Okay. Now before we put that down, I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on that side because that's what's going to be showing along the edge. We'll go ahead and bring a little bit of Distress Ink there. We don't need much. And those corners aren't going to show, but just in case, we'll put a dab there also. Okay. Now I'm going to fit this in. Position it. See? Just like that. I like that. Okay. And then we're going to and finagle the glue. Okay. Get it positioned right. Hold down one side. And down we go. The glue will smush out a little bit for us. Good thing we have this little bit of a long nozzle. That's helpful. In situations like this, and down we go. Okay, now all we have to do is ink around the sides, around the edges, and continue with some decorating. Okay, so there we go. We've got our closure, like so. 
And all it took was an envelope, and we used two pieces of digital paper and a book page for that, okay? Just so that's not so stark white. Let's just run a little bit of ink right along the edges there. I'm done flipping it around and decorate. If you wanted to, you can use um, some decorative scissors um, and use a decorative edge there. That would be cute. Now on this one, we did do a little small belly band there and I do have a few little decorative pieces that maybe we can do something with real quick. We got about less than 10 minutes. Okay, so let's see what we can do. I have a girl here. And we still go with the reading theme. I have a cute little girl here and maybe her sister. <laughs> um, maybe one of those. Okay. And definitely looks like she's sitting on something. So we could maybe put her. I got a couple tags. Let's see. And this is just printed on regular copy paper, so we definitely need to back that with something. And I have some scraps here that we just used from our book page. Won't go to waste. Because we definitely want to strengthen that if it's going to be a belly band. And as a matter of fact, it wouldn't hurt to even double that up. So I'm going to do the back side, and we're going to go over that one more time just to strengthen it. Okay, book page is pretty, pretty good, but we want to be sure. Okay, let's trim that out. Excuse me for a second. Get it a little closer to my eyeballs. Okay, that will be our belly band to the inside. And we'll put it in the same area. Got a sneeze coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Tried to hold it. And we'll put her right there. And it, she needs to be sitting on something. So let's see what I have here. I have a label. Let's see how that looks. She's sitting on there. Positioning is the important thing, guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to see how I want to position this. Okay. Start with this, and we're just going to do the edges. And I'm not going to put that side down until I know where I want it to sit. Um, I think that's okay. I didn't know if I wanted to have her tucked under but we'll have her just kind of sitting something like that yeah okay so let's put this down and I'm just gonna butt that right up next to the edge and I'm hoping it's somewhat straight
I think I want her legs to be over a bit. How cute. Okay, and then I brought in a couple of small pieces. I don't know if I made my belly band big enough. Aha! Uh -huh. Yay! Okay, so we tuck in a few goodies. And I don't want that to be so blank. We don't have time to decorate it. Now we'll have to continue on tomorrow's video. And we'll do some finishing touches on this. There's a couple little goodies for in there. Very cute. I like it. All right, and then we got some other, oh, we can stick that one. It might fit in there also. Yeah. See, just like that. Something really simple. Okay, well, I think that's a good place to stop, guys. We'll, dec we'll finish decorating it up. We'll do something with the inside signature. Um, we'll do some stenciling or some stamping of some sort. There's our pocket. We'll make a nice big um, journal card or a little notepad or something to put on the inside along with some inking. We'll finish it up tomorrow. So it's looking pretty good. Let me make some room, do some cleanup here real quick. Hold on to those for the next video to finish that up. And we'll use these goodies. Okay, so it's looking pretty good, guys. It's looking almost identical, just a little bit larger. But what a fun project using an envelope. Okay, we've got ourselves a single single signature. Now, like again, like I said, if you wanted to make the signature bigger, you could. But it just gives us a little something different, something fun, something just not quite as the basic standard journal. Okay, but still a journal. Okay, an envelope journal. All right, I'm liking it. Okay, guys, we're going to stop there, and I will see you on the next video, and we will get this baby finished up, okay? Thank you so very much for spending some time with me. Again, Karen, please reach out and contact me so I can get that those goodies out to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. Please check out... Um, my page on buy me a coffee i have some freebies over there for you on that and i will see you on the next video thank you so very much bye bye